Uh, hello. Okay, so we are back with the uh, Defender Champ Model 5 F1. And today we're going to talk about uh, this transfer of power from the plate of the 6v6. So this is the power amplifier and the speaker. And why we need an output transformer here. Okay, so let's talk about that. Okay, so let's assume that uh, there's no output transformer. And uh, uh, so this is your 6v6. So this is the plate. This is the uh, cathode. And that's your plate, the circuit. The current goes like this. So let's assume that there's no, there's no output transformer and that the load is right in the circuit. So the load would be the uh, speaker. So that's what we have. Okay, so this is a simplified version of that circuit, the plate circuit of the 6v6. The load is the speaker. At this point, we do not have a uh, output transformer in the picture yet. So if you go back to this, you have your plate circuit with the load. So it's basically a source and an internal impedance. So this is what I show here on the left. You have a source, an internal internal impedance of the source, which I call ZS, ZS, S for source. And you have the load with an impedance of ZL. So that would be the speaker. And this would be the tube. This whole thing would be the tube. This would be the tube. That's the tube, the 6v6. So, and so, so these are basic concepts that are very important. You have maximum power transfer when Zs is equal to Zl. So the internal impedance of the source is equal to the load impedance. That gives you max power transfer. And remember that the power P is equal to VI. So max power transfer, that's what we want to drive the speaker. That's what we want. But let's talk about in general. Sometimes you don't want maximum power transfer, you want maximum voltage transfer. So you want the max voltage possible to be delivered to the load. In this case, you want the internal impedance of the source to be, to be much less than the impedance of the load. And why is that? Because if you look at this, you have some current going through this. So let's say I. There's a voltage drop here at uh, across the S and there's a voltage drop across the load. So what you want, if you want maximum voltage voltage delivered to the load, you want that the, the drop is a max here. You don't want a large drop here. Okay, so that's if Zs is much less than Zl, much of the voltage is going to be dropped across the load, which is what you want if you want maximum voltage delivered to the load. And usually it's called if this doesn't happen, if Zs is uh, relatively large compared to Zl, then we, we say that the, the load is loading down. So it's like loading down the source. It's called loading down the source. There's too much voltage drop here. So the whole thing is useless because there's not enough voltage delivered to the load. So in our case, in our case, in our case, the load is the speaker. Remember that. So the problem in our case is that the ZS, so the internal impedance of the source, the internal impedance of the plate circuit of the tube is about 5000 ohms. And you can figure that out if you look at the characteristics of the tube. So for maximum power transfer, and remember when you try to drive a speaker, you want maximum power transfer. Okay, not maximum voltage, you want maximum power. 
So it means that the z of the load should be also 5,000. Okay, they should be equal. But in our case, it's not. The zl is 8 ohm. It's the speaker impedance. 8 ohm or 4 ohms, but I choose 8 ohms here. Okay, so that's the problem. The solution is to use a step step down transformer, also known as an output transformer, with 5000 ohms in the primary winding and 8 ohm in the secondary winding. So here I'm showing the. Uh, I mean, this is getting closer to what we have here. You have the, the plate circuit, the transformer, and you have the basically the speaker circuit. Okay, so this is your tube with the uh, so that's uh, in the previous uh, pictures that, that was uh, referred as s and this is the impedance of the source so in our case it's 5000 ohms so this whole thing is your tube or the plate circuit and uh, so the tube needs a plate load corresponding to 5000 ohms for maximum power so you want if you have 5,000 ohms here, you have maximum power in that circuit. And on the other, so that's your, your transformer here, the output transformer. And here you have 8 ohm and 8 ohm in that winding, on the secondary winding. And this is your speaker, 8 ohm. And again, you have maximum power transfer in that circuit. So max power here, max power here, and here the power across the transformer is constant, it's the same. So if you look from here over there, you have max power. This is exactly what we want. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll talk about the turns ratio. So if one is the primary and two is the secondary and n is the number of turns in the winding, n2 over n1 is equal to square root of z2 over z1. So in our case, z2 is 8 and z1 is 5000. So it gives you a terms ratio of 1 over 25. So here you have, if here you have 25 uh, turns, here you have only one. And uh, yet uh, the power, the power is, is, is the same on either side. So P2 equal P1. So V2, V2, I2 is equal to V1, I1. So it means that the uh, the current in the circ in two in the secondary is 25 times the current in the primary, and the voltage is goes the other way, other way around. Voltage in two is 1 25th of the voltage in one. So that's just a side note. Okay, so I think uh, that's pretty much it. So let's go back to this thing. So again. This is the, the 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 plate circuit. It goes like this, and this is the speaker circuit. So this one, uh, the tube wants a a load, a plate load of five thousand ohms, which we have here, five thousand ohms. And uh, on the other side, of course, it's going to be eight ohms because we have eight ohms or four ohms, depending. And this, so that's the role of the output output transfer output transformer. It's uh, basically impedance matching, if you will, for maximum power, maximum power, not maximum voltage, maximum power. Because you want a lot of current here, you don't have much current there, but you have a lot of current here. You don't, you have lots of voltage here, but you don't want you don't want much voltage there. Okay, so I think I'm going to stop here. And I think I'm pretty much done on the, the 5F1. We'll see. All right.